Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzno, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions. Tonight the question I'm answering is, what's in the box, or I guess plastic case or card holder, in the case of this game? I am going to be taking a look at a game from an independent game designer, Robert M. Everson, or better known as Old Man Logan for people who know him well who is working with Encoded Designs to try to get his game designs published. This is his first officially published game, which was released through drive through Cards. Now, I realize a usual unboxing, you got a lot bigger box you're going to get into, and you're going to tear into it and get all kinds of components. But I really wanted to show off the quality of this just from drive through Cards. Note, I haven't looked through this, but I have played the game a couple of times at Origins and Queen City Conquest, and I think it's a really good, quick, fast party game with some take-that elements. But what I want to do is show off the quality of this game from drive through cards. So again, we're taking a look at Circle of Six from Robert M. Everson, Old Man Logan from Encoded Designs. So here we go. So first thing I want to note, this is exactly how this game shipped from drive through Cards. Um, it did show up in a bubble envelope, but there wasn't anything else there. This is it. So one of the things I really like is it's a nice hard case, but not only that, it locks. So I can't pop this open. So big bonus points there. Uh, again, I guess it's not necessarily Bob who did a great job on this, but drive through Cards. Next thing I will note is it comes with a plastic sleeve on the cards. I don't know if you can kind of see it there. There's a plastic sleeve holding this entire deck together. So big props on that. Um, there is a cover here that just is, again, by drive through cards. And then notes it was printed in the United States and the, the, the information, right? The, the ID number, stuff like that, customer order number, product number, and so on. Then we get right to the marker. So we have a marker card for Circle of Six. This is something that tells you the direction of play and can be flipped over either sides. And then we have this version of the marker. So the difference is this version is the standard marker and the game includes this one, which you can cut and make a three-dimensional marker that would stand up while you're playing instead of laying flat. So it makes it a little more clear. Now I'm just gonna slip this sleeve off. So again, I wanna kind of show this. See, here's this sleeve which unfortunately my green screen doesn't like much. And then we have a deck of cards. The backs are all identical. A card quality, it's nice, um, plasticized. I'll do that near the mic so people can hear it. Really nice, solid quality cards here. No, uh, like the glossy finish. And then what you're gonna have is, we're not gonna use yellow for this, so I'm gonna split these cards up into decks here. So we have stuff for multiple players. We can see how many players this is once you see all the player cards. So we have red, yellow, red, purple. And these actually slide really nice. Like these are going to be a joy to shuffle. Green, blue, and then the number cards. So what you have is this game does play six players. So what you have are a bunch of number cards to say one, two, three, four. Five, six. These get laid out in a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm not going to fully explain how to play the game. Then each player is going to take their own deck, and I think the one that's probably going to show up the best here is probably red. So they start off with a player card that just indicates, oh, even that's not quite sure. Here we go. Red player card, and it shows that you're going to put your scoring cards on one side of this and your discard cards on the other. You have two wild cards that say wild. Then you have two of each numbered cards counting down from six or counting up from six, whichever way you want to go. Now, one of the things I do like that Bob did with the design of this game is he made it so each color also has a unique symbol. So you'll see the red has a trying, uh, uh, like a throwing star. The purple has a diamond. The blue has this weird like hexagon star. So that definitely helps with anyone with any color blindness issues. So that is pretty much it. That's what you get with it. Uh, the one thing you'll note and I didn't even know for sure. So these are for setting up the board. Then we have our player things. Nowhere here do you have the rules for how to play. So I don't know if that's something through drive through Cards or something Bob can do. Now I do know if you go to drivethroughcards.com, there is a link to be able to download the rule book in PDF, which is a one page rule book with a cover. So that's it. This is what you get in Circle of Six. It's a fast, furious, play your cards, move the wild cards around, trying to complete a complete set of six numbers, either yours or from an opponent's. Really quick, fast party game that actually plays really well. And this is showing you what you get in the production copy 
which has an MSRP of just under $15 US on drive-through RPG. Now I'm just going to pack this back up. I think I will skip the plastic sleeve this time. Just toss these in the case, which seals up nicely. All right, so there you have it. Pretty simple, pretty basic set here. You have a set of cards, uh, one through six, two times for each player, plus a wild card, two of those also, as well as a player card. Number one, two, three spots to mark the board, as well as a marker to show where the, the marker goes. Uh, pretty simple production. Card quality is way better than I expected. That is really nice, nice plasticized cards. I would almost, um, I wonder if they're at all water resistant. I'm not gonna test it, but I do wonder. They're really nice quality cards, a joy to shuffle. Um, they do have a glossy finish, not a linen finish, which unfortunately my camera and the lights were having a little hard time with, but shouldn't be a problem at the game table. So again, this is Circle of Six from Robert M. Everson, Old Man Logan of Encoded Designs, available now at drivethroughcards.com. Just look for Circle of Six. And that's it for this fairly quick unboxing. Again, I am the Tabletop Bellhop, Mo Tuzano. You can find me all over the web as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. And you can head over to our webpage, tabletopbellhop.com, for lots of gaming con content, including answers to your gaming questions, which you can send to me at mo at tabletopbellhop.com, or go to the webpage and click on Ask the Bellhop. Finally, if you did dig this video and you want to see us putting out more videos and improving our quality, you could head to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and tip your bellhop. Good night and game on.